everybody, it's Carrie with Seed to Spoon. So as I was out here feeding all the animals, I thought that I would take a few minutes to talk about something that a lot of people ask about, which is our chickens. So I thought I would talk a little bit about how we go about taking care of them and all the way from hatching to ha what we do now for free rangers and those that live in coops. So I thought that I would touch briefly on all of it. So first of all, if you do not have chickens, you definitely need to. They are one of my very favorites. They are, I mean, you, you would be surprised by how much you will love your chickens. And I mean, they're, they're just amazing. So, I mean, obviously there's several benefits to having them. One of them being eggs, right? I mean, we get so many eggs a day. Um, a lot of our chickens will give us, you know, the one egg a day. Um, some of them will give us, you know, like, five every week or so but it just really depends on the type of chicken that you have so the chickens also really help us in the garden so we have a fence around the garden because that is a negative they will eat your plants if they have the opportunity so we have a fence that's around our garden but they do the perimeter of the fence and they go around and they eat a lot of insects they eat ticks grasshoppers i mean pretty much you name it they take care of it so they are amazing little hunters and they really help in the garden. So I've actually seen several of them actually take down a small little mouse too. So they, they can really do a lot of damage. Oh, and I've also seen them take care of snakes too. I know technically snakes can be beneficial too, but honestly, I, I love the chickens. I don't care if they eat them. Chickens are also really good composters. So they can help you by like scratching through your compost and they provide some fertilizer for it as well. So really the only negatives, I mean, besides the one I already listed of, they will eat your plants, but there are some plants that the chickens will leave alone. But for the most part, we have to protect most of our plants. Um, but that's only if you let your chickens free range like we do with a lot of ours. Um, and then really the only other complaint we have is when you get too many roosters, it can be quite noisy around the farm. They start yelling back and forth at each other, crowing back and forth. But I mean, I, if that's what I have to put up with, I'm fine with it. Okay, so come on with me. We're gonna go feed some chickens and I will show you some of the different chickens that we have here on our farm. So over here, we have a lot of our free rangers and I just throw a lot of food out over here. I give them a scoop of just some regular chicken feed and a 15% protein. And then I also throw out a little bit of scratch and also some sunflower seeds, oats, things like that. So they come over here every morning. They're very, very demanding chickens. So most of these chickens out here are, I mean, I have a mixture of different chickens. So I have some Easter egger chickens, which means they lay really pretty turquoise blue eggs. And then I also have, so like right over here, these gray ones, I have some sapphire gems and those are really good laying hens. So they lay like really religiously, like an egg a day. They're really good. Same as these red ones right over here. So these are red laying hens also, and they lay really good eggs for us every day. And those eggs are, are typically brown, but, and then also I have like a mixture of Easter egg and laying hens because a rooster bred with the laying hen, you know. So yeah, we have a mixture of a bunch of different ones here. Oh, I didn't mention Jersey Giants. So I also have some of these Jersey Giants, which are the really big black ones. And they are really good dual purpose. So what I mean for dual purpose is like, they're really good for meat also, and they also lay eggs. So those are something that's um, really good to have around too. So we have five acres here and these chickens pretty much have free range of wherever they want to go. Um, typically they just stay over on this side. So they really only go about maybe like a half acre to an acre over here on this side. They, they don't stray too far from where their food is and where they lay their eggs. And there's a hen laying an egg behind me now too. That's the noise that she's making. So, <laughs> so if you've never tried a, an egg like fresh from the farm, you definitely need to. It is amazing. So it is way different than the ones you buy at the store. I feel like the ones you buy at the store are like, the color is like really dull. Like, and then whenever you crack your first egg that you get from the farm, you'll notice like the inside, the yolk, it's like bright orange and it is so much healthier for you. And it, the taste difference is just incredible. So you definitely need to try that out. 
So I realized earlier, I talked about the negatives of having roosters around, but I never said like why we actually have roosters around. And you can hear them in the background. They're very noisy right now, but they are really helpful because they help to protect the hens. So we like to keep, um, oops, hey, I move. So we like to keep at least like one rooster. Sorry, they're fighting over their favorite lane spot too. Um, Okay, I'll, I, I will follow up somewhere quieter after I'm done here in a second. <laughs> okay, I thought that I would resume talking about roosters in the silky area. Well, I thought it would be quieter in here, but maybe not. Janice is a loudmouth. She's aptly, aptly named. She's named off of Janice from Friends. So, yeah, that's her. <laughs> Okay, I had to calm Janice down. So we are now holding Janice and Joey. So Joey is my favorite rooster, but don't tell the other roosters. So he is a silky. So these are in my ornamental chicken areas. So I call them ornamental because they are, well, first of all, look at how beautiful they are. Yes, he agrees. He says he's handsome. Um, so they are really pretty. They do give really good eggs also. So um, they just don't lay quite as many eggs as the other um, like egg laying chickens that we have. And their eggs are a little bit smaller, but not, not too much. So they're still really good for eating and also hatching. So, um, so roosters, I'll get back on that. Um, roosters, he's really good because he protects the hens. So especially if there's any like hawks flying overhead or anything like that, like he will crow and get everybody to, to shelter. And also, um, if you want fertilized eggs, so if you want to hatch out eggs, you will need a rooster for that also. So we keep roosters around to help protect the hens and also fertilize, fertilize eggs because we like to hatch out little baby chicks. So Joey is a silky, and then Janice over here is an Appenzell or Spitzhaven. So we have a little mixture of everything in here. I have fun with all the chickens. So although they give you smaller eggs, they still, I, I feel like they taste a lot better, especially if you're looking to do like hard boiled eggs. I feel like their eggs are one of the best that you could do. So also if you are looking for pets, I feel like these chickens are probably one of the most sweet and docile ones that you can get. Okay, I couldn't leave Princess Consuela over here out. She's a sweet girl. So most of our chickens, like I showed you before, are free rangers. They go wherever they want to. I protect these guys a little bit more just because they're really close to my heart. I love them. Um, so they are inside. Um, this is a dog run that we um, put together. And then we also cut a small hole over there, as Janice is showing you over there, um, where they can go back and forth between the dog run and their coop. So they go into their coop and sleep for the night. And then I lock them up and then I come back in here in the morning and open it back up and then they come back in here. So we got, I mean, both this dog run and that chicken coop off of Facebook Marketplace, um, Craigslist, I mean, places like that. We try to buy like that so it's a lot cheaper because um, they're pretty expensive to buy brand new. So we do that and generally we get the cheaper ones and maybe just fix up a little bit here and there. Um, like this, this coop over here, we just had to re-chicken wire one section and it was as good as new. So um, it's definitely cheaper to buy it that way. So I do it this way just because it protects them. We have a lot of predators here. And um, before, before we had built this dog run, we had them inside of a bigger enclosure that was open on the top. So here we have the, the top, I mean, you can kind of see behind me, it's covered. Um, but before we had them just in a completely open area besides their coop, and we were losing a lot to air, pre or, you know, air predators. So not necessarily the ground predators. So it was like the hawks that were coming in and taking them and we were losing so many. So we moved them over here um, to be better protected. So this will help to protect them from, you know, both the air predators as well as the predators that they face on the ground, like coyotes, raccoons, possums, things like that. 
So predators can be an issue with chickens, especially here where we are. So we try to keep a lot of really safe areas for the chickens to go run into if they need to. Um, and then most of them go up into a coop at night. And if they don't go into a coop, I, I still, I look at them, I make sure that they go somewhere safe. And um, I mean, for the most part, they're all, they're all pretty good, but you will definitely lose several to predators. Um, so be prepared for that. Um, but that's why we are like pretty much always hatching out new, new babies and new chicks. So we have like a constant round of babies hatching in our shop. So I will go show you those now. Okay, so this is in the back of our shop area that we have. We have a bunch of chickens at several stages. Okay, so down here I have my um, Cornish Cross chickens. So these ones we ordered online. These ones are meat birds. So these are only pretty much designed just for meat. So they're freaking out right now because I just fed them. <laughs> so every morning I go through, um, I come in here, I, I do, I lay some fresh pine shavings down and then I also refill up water if need be and then pop off their food. And these guys especially, they love to eat. So um, these ones are probably about a week or two old now. And um, these ones will be ready for harvest in um, are usually around like nine weeks of age or so. Um, last time we had these, we waited until like 12 weeks and they were very, very large. Um, and we let a few go just to see like how long they would live. And they, they don't do well um, staying alive for very long. So the purpose of these ones are definitely not for eggs. They are only for meat. So I know it's really hard to talk about, and especially coming from me, because I love all the animals so much, and especially my chickens. Like, my chickens are pets. Like, I love them with all my heart. So that's, I mean, we came with the ethical <laughs> conclusion that if we were going to keep eating chicken, it was much better for us to raise them in an environment where they are happy and healthy and not in you know a commercial environment where it's just miserable living conditions so we figured if we were going to continue to eat chickens we would do it this way so i know everybody has a different opinion on it and that's fine so up here i have one of my favorite chickens i have more of my silky babies up here so um i have this cage on the top because they are about a month old now so they are able to fly out of here if they wanted to so i put this cage on top and um i keep a heat lamp on them usually until like um depending on the weather somewhere between four to eight weeks of age or so um so this heat lamp will be turning off soon for them and they'll be moving um you know start more transitioning towards a bigger area and towards moving outside um with their families so these ones over here just hatched out um, yesterday. We just moved them over. So that's why they're really tiny and they're sleeping a lot still. So um, the heat lamp will be on them for quite a while. Um, so yeah, that's these guys over here. It's a mixture of Easter eggers and laying hens and sapphire gems, things like that. And I actually think that I hear some more movement in our hatching area over here. So maybe we have some more baby chicks to move over. So let's go check. Okay. So I have the hatching area over here. So I have a bunch of different incubators set up. So um, I have this one right here. Um, these are just styrofoam incubators. I have an egg turner inside of it. So chicken eggs usually take about 21 days to hatch. So they stay in here in this incubator getting turned. Um, for about 18 days and then I move them over to this one over here So I'll, I'll make a video later on that details more about like hatching these chickens out and what to do and humidification levels and temperature all that But I just wanted to kind of show you our, our setup that we have today and I do see a lot of movement in here So I see some baby chicks Ooh, We have quite a few we had a really good hatch rate this time So I'm gonna take these and I'm gonna move them over here under our heat lamp in with these other brand new babies.
Look how pretty this one is. It just hatched out. So pretty. Some of them, I mean, they're a mixture between, you know, different mamas and dadas, daddies, so dadas. <laughs> hey, don't make fun of me. <laughs> so I don't know who her parents are. I guess we'll find out when she gets a little older. She's beautiful though. Let's go. So at this stage, you can't really tell if it's gonna be a boy or a girl quite yet. I mean, there's a lot of different like folklores and old wives tales on how you can tell difference between boys and girls, but I find that a lot of them are not very accurate. So we really, like really the only true way to know if it's a boy or girl is when they start crowing or start laying eggs. So I mean, we always have a couple rounds of chickens going going on in here because I mean, we let our chickens free range so we do lose some to predators um, and we also do sell some chickens as well so um, I mean we're constantly reintroducing new ones to the new flock out there and it's just a big circle. Okay so that was just really a brief overview like of our chickens and how we raise chickens and yeah all of that. So if you have any questions or if you want me to go more into detail about anything that we do to care for our chickens or raise them or anything like that just let me know leave them in the comment section and I can make another video about it. So th thank you so much for watching everybody.